up to Brian Campbell. Campbell brings it himself as he cuts through center in over the Montreal line. Campbell spin around on the corner. Well, he was hospitalized right after birth and they could never tell us why. And they kept him for a week. It was devastating to come home with your, you know, you expect to come home with a baby and you don't. Um, around 18 months, we started to notice some developmental delays. He wasn't walking, wasn't talking a whole lot. We basically went about nine years, the first nine years of his life without a real diagnosis. With Tony, it's most prevalent in his eyes his muscles and his, uh, he has some, somewhat lack of coordination and some neurological problems. Doesn't you know, usually complain or say, why me, or this or that. Um, he participates in a lot of different activities, um, horseback riding, power wheelchair soccer. He helps coach the soccer team. He's active at our local boys and girls club. Obviously, you always encourage Tony, go and do things because it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna make you happy and it's not gonna make anybody else happy to just sit and mope and be miserable. So, you know, he picks it up and he goes. And, you know, if he wants to do something, we find a way for him to do it as best we can. There's one passion, though, for Tony that stands above the rest, the Buffalo Sabres. Tony is a huge fan of all sports, uh, the Sabres in, in particular. Um, knows all the players' names and just a, a real big Sabres fan. Tony intently watches his team every game, every period, without fail. He, he watches the games and he does his uh, uh, Rick Jenneret impressions. And he just, he's loud and he sits right on the stool right in front of the TV. And he, uh, he during the playoffs last year, he would stay up late. You know, Mom, let me stay up, let me stay up. And he would, he really would stay awake too, which is surprising for him to see all the games. And he, he's a huge Sabres fan. So when to Tony and his family surprise, he was selected by the Make-A-Wish Foundation, there was little question as to what Tony's wish would be. His school counselor had actually recommended him for Make-A-Wish, and he did a little bit of thinking about it, and he thought Sabres. I think being able to be a part of something like this where he can watch his, his favorite players, and Ryan Miller, one of his favorite, and just be a part of the whole thing is just, you know, it's, it's a huge thrill for him. And he goes through so much on a day-to-day -day basis, to have the opportunity to do something special. Just, it, it, you can't put into words what it means to, to him and to our family, to see him get this and, and to have his dream fulfilled. Tony would get closer than he ever imagined possible to players he idolized from his living room television, night Hi. in and night out. Hi, Rachel. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. You know, so focused on, on today and, and meeting the team and being at practice. Yeah, I think it does take his mind off things and, you know, puts a big smile on his face. For him to be able to meet some sports figures that are important to him, it's, it, you can't put into words what that means. He's someone people can look at and say, well, he has these difficulties in his life, but he doesn't really let it, you know, slow him down. Come on, come from home. He has gone through more in his 10 years than I probably will medically in my lifetime. Um, you know, he's, I, he's just my hero. He, he always comes through with a smile. For somebody to be living with that, I can't imagine what it feels like and yet still be happy. And that's why I think he really is just such a blessing to, to be able to endure what he's gone through and going through every day and still have a smile on his face.